Hi friends, in the keloid formation, the injection of uh, long acting steroids intralesionally is a second most satisfactory method after the laser fulguration. And uh, though the results may not be satisfactory, but in most of the cases, the symptoms and uh, the appearance of the keloid improves after giving a few sessions of intralesional injections. As you can see that uh, the tri amsenolone injection is injected directly in the lesion itself. One should try not to inject in the surrounding skin, otherwise hypopigmentation may occur sometime. The sign of, to confirm whether the injection is going in, in the lesion or uh, outside the skin that you can see there is a whitening of uh, and the tension in the overlying skin in the lesion. Each and every area of uh, the keloid should be injected. One should try not to prick many times in the lesion and after the injection the wound is dressed. Thank you very much.